before I'm starting the other message. I'm getting to the message. He said, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Start every message yeah. like Jesus did. Yeah. Whether it was a, a word of healing, encouragement. Yes. He says, tell my people this. And I said, why? He said, because they need to get their minds ready before you pour into it. Yes. So before I go a step further, if there's anything I like Jesus in your mind, I ask you to search yourself. Yeah. 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 Going once, going twice, right? Mm -hmm. No turning back now. Get strapped in. Amen. 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 Father God, right now in the name of Jesus, I pray right now, Lord God, that your people will receive the words that you birthed in my spirit, Father God. And even if they don't receive it, Father God, let the bodies fall where they, they may, Father God. Right now, Lord God, I pray that your Jaconic glory will fall fresh in this place, Father God, and your glory cloud will hover upon us, Father God, that we may feel the full presence, Father God, and the manifestation of your glory, Father God. So, Father God, right now, Lord God, I pray for every mindset, Father God, I pray for every person, Father God, everybody that had a heart to be here and couldn't be here, Father God. Father God, right now, they will feel the shift in the spirit, Lord, right now. So, Lord God, I pray this in the name of your Son, Jesus. Amen. Amen. All right. Say, say God's ready to do a new thing. God's ready to do a new thing. Y'all don't believe it. Say, God's ready to do a new thing. God's ready to do a new thing. Okay, that's the last time I'm going to ask for participation, so y'all can fall back. Okay. He told me the topic of this evening was increase by persecution. Increase by persecution. So you must realize that you can never get any type of increase without persecution. And the key thing is, while you're going through persecution, your mindset. Because if you have the wrong mindset during your persecution, you'll mess around and get the wrong type of increase. Oh, man, my God, okay. I'm pulling it already. Y'all got to excuse me. Uh, the scripture I'll be coming from is Zechariah chapter 8. 11 through 13. I won't be before you long. I asked God in the back, let me preach hard for 10 minutes and get out of here. I'm going to let the Holy Spirit do what we're supposed to do. Okay. All right. Y'all have to say amen. Amen. You know, it's a custom and a waste of them where the ministry that you stand for the reason of God's word. Amen. Amen. Say in this house. And while we're standing, let's give an honor to the, the headship of this house. Amen. 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 Uh, and everyone who invited me, everybody who first away, give yourself a hand and a round of applause because you put us at home. And miss what God was going to speak to you. All right. Well, the word of God says, But now I will not treat the remnant of his people as in former days, says the Lord of hosts. For the seed shall be prosperous, the vine shall give its fruit, and the ground shall give her increase, and the heavens shall give her their dues. And I will cause the remnant of the, peace of pe the people to possess all these. And it shall come to pass, just as you were cursed among nations, O house of Judah and O house of Israel, so I will save you, and you shall be blessed. Do not fear, let your hand be strong. And the word of God is already blessed. You can have your seats. Increase through persecution. Now the first, verse 11, I, I, I love how, how it comes out. It says, I will not treat the remnant of his people as in former days. So that means God's going to do something new. He's shifting. Now, the remnant is what remains. So that's after the storm. Yeah, that's right. What's after all the havoc and confusion in your life was still standing after God has just purged your spiritual system. Now, the remnant of his people, that means you're, we're his, right? I mean, he loves, he loves his son. We're his sons and daughters, yeah. young people, young, old, young season. I have a problem saying old for you. <laughs> Y'all gotta pay my strength for the Lord. That these are God's chosen people. We were talking in the back. Few are called. Many are called, but few are chosen. So God said he's not going to treat his remaining people as he did before. So that means God's going to shift. 
He's trying to do something new. He's trying to reveal himself in a brand new way that he may get the glory. Yes. And since our generations are always changing, our generation now is way different than it was in past generations. I can see where he was trying to go go with this. So when I was when I, he was giving it to me, I was like, thank, thank you, Lord. Because our generation is changing, you're doing something different in this generation than you were doing before. And he said, the Lord of hope said it. So this was before Jesus came into the picture. So God himself was declaring that he was going to do a new thing, and we have no choice in the matter. God's will will be done. See, and then verse 12 says, the seed shall be prosperous. I'm going to stop right there. And when you talk about a seed, seed brings forth, it's, it's, the, it's the starting point of a plant. Now, it didn't say the environment or the condition of the seed. It just said it shall be prosperous. Right. Now, if your seed is torn in half, a half seed will still grow. I don't know if everybody knows that. Amen. Now, or the environment. So your, your seed can be in a house full of chaos, but it still shall be prosperous. Yeah. So your, your seed can be in a, in a work environment that's not conducive to your anointing. But it's still going to prosper. Yeah. So this was this was my bar. Wow. So any seed, but the seed that you plant, it starts in the mind. Because with how, how how can you declare something to be prosperous if you don't think it first? Come on. So in a messed up environment, my seed still should be prosperous. Father God, I'm speaking that thing. So you got to speak it yourself. You have to declare it yourself that you're going to be prosperous. Amen. Young people, you have to say, yes, people still pick it on me because I'm a, I'm, I'm, a G, I'm a king's kid, but I'm still going to be prosperous. I'm still going to press my way through. Yeah. Right. I'll take the ridicule like Jesus did, but Jesus came out victorious in the end. He, he paid the ultimate price for, for I can be saved. He was a man without blemish. Then the next one. See, I love the process. Because from a seed being prosperous, from you declaring that your seed is prosperous, he goes into the vine shall be give fruit. Now, a vine spreads. Mm -hmm. I went ahead and went to, I rolled past the vineyard when I was on my way back from New Jersey. And the vines just wrapped around, kind of like this kind of thorn. It just wrapped around everything. And that means God was enlarging your territory. So once you declare something being prosperous, God will begin to consume and spread and begin to enlarge your territory. So anything that's in its way, it will wrap its way around and tangle it. So your anointing is going to entangle whatever situation. So it's going to, so the situation can't stop you no way. So it's going to entangle itself until it gets to the place where it wants to be and then it's going to stop and begin to spread forth fruit. Fruit. Wow. Ah, my God. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Mm. Now, I'm going to stop right there. Okay. The, the vine. I thought vines were bad at first. I mean, but when God gave it to me, I began to see how vines could be, be something so magnificent. And since the sea was declared prosperous, the vine could enlarge territory to produce fruit. It didn't say what type of fruit, it just said fruit. And then the word is when, when you talk about fruit, most of the time it's good. Now if you go to Luke chapter 6, verse 14, I do believe it talks about good trees bearing good fruit, bad trees bearing bad fruit. That's why I said it's in the mind, it starts in your mind because if you're a good tree, you're going to produce good fruit. But the problem is that we plant, we have, we're a good tree, but we spoke non-prosperity over our fruit, our, our seed, and therefore we're producing bad fruit. So we're acting out of our own character and our own nature. So then we become what, what some people call an abomination. You're good, but you're bad. You're living in a half truth, as my pastor likes to say. Now, the ground shall give her increase. I said, well, why couldn't it say he, Father? But that was just me. <laughs> But what I realized is when he meant her in the sense of her, he meant women give birth. So when 
Your vine gives fruit. And some, when your fruit falls to the ground, some people may pick it up and taste the fruit and just and be able to experience the prosperity of that seed. But sometimes if people don't receive the fruit, the fruit will sit there 